largely in agreement with George, but I, I would address the issues in a somewhat different way. Um, let's, for the purposes of this answer, step back from everything about financial markets. And we collect detailed statistics on how much output the economy produces each year, and we collect detailed statistics on how many people are involved in, pro in producing it. We divide output by number of people, and it's called productivity. Here are roughly the facts in the United States. Productivity grew very fast from 1948 to 1973, a little above 2% a year. From 1973 to sometime in the early 90s, there was productivity growth was less than half as fast. Productivity growth from the mid-90s to the mid-O's um, accelerated and was probably actually faster than it had been between 1948 and 1973. It's difficult to tell but there are disturbing indications that productivity growth has slowed in the last several years. That's wholly apart from like whether there's enough demand in the economy to keep everybody working. That's just if you take the number of people who are working, what's happening to productivity. Why did productivity slow down? Why did productivity accelerate? The truth is nobody, the truth is nobody knows, but prevailing thinking would go to large waves of technological innovation. The automobile, the, infra the, inter the interstate uh, highway system, uh, synthetic uh, fabrics, synthetics of all kinds, television. There was a ton of innovation that basically came out of the Second World War period that propelled the economy for a quarter century. There wasn't equally fundamental stuff around from 1973 to, from 1973 to the mid-90s. Eventually, it appears that information technology, which you know, touched everything from automatic lock systems in cars to the capacity of banks to provide uh, ATMs to better medical instrumentation, that technology, uh, the internet, the spread of computing power was a very powerful uh, force driving productivity growth up uh, after the 1990s. It appears that two things have happened in the last eight years, uh, in part certainly not responded to effectively by policy. One is it looks like the productivity growth isn't working out so well, and the other is it appears that the effect of this is that it's substituting for the kind of work that 80 or 90 percent of the population can do and it's reinforcing the leverage over the global economy of the work that the most able people in our society on certain economic dimensions can do, and therefore you've seen very much widening uh, inequality as well. So for the last few years we've had slow productivity growth and the gains from the productivity growth have gone heavily to people in the top several percent of the income distribution. <music>